The double standard is real, and that was evident this week when Mika Brzezinski, co-host of MSNBC's Morning Joe, used incredibly vulgar language when referencing Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's comments about the death of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Watch for yourself. Because I don't think there, I, I can't think of anyone here who could put it more clearly than you. Uh, I understand that J Donald Trump doesn't care. Heilman makes a good point. He doesn't care. But why doesn't Mike Pompeo care right now? Are the pathetic deflections that we just heard when he appeared on Fox and Friends, is that a patriot speaking or a wannabe dictator's butt boy? Brzezinski then took to Twitter to apologize, tweeting, totally agree with you, super bad choice of words. I should have said water boy, like for football teams or something like that. Apologies to Senator Durbin too, so sorry. Is it a double standard that personalities like Roseanne Barr and Megyn Kelly are penalized for using offensive language, but in this instance, it goes unpunished? President Trump weighed in on Twitter saying, quote, if it was a conservative that said what crazed Mika Brzezinski stated on her show yesterday, using a certain horrible term, that person would be banned permanently from television. Mika apologized a second time, but left out a key part of the apology. But I want to get to something first. I was off yesterday for a family matter, as you mentioned, but I wanted to address a term that I used on this show on Wednesday that was vulgar. I knew it right away and I tweeted that it was a terrible choice of words and that I was sorry. But please allow me to say this face to face. The term is crass and offensive and I apologize to everyone, especially the LGBTQ community and to my colleagues for using it. It was a mistake. My father would have found it so unbecoming and disrespectful and he would have told me. I will work hard to be better, but I just wanted to say on camera, looking the viewer straight in the eye. I am really, really sorry. Isn't it customary to include the name of the person whom you offended in an apology? Most people would say yes, especially when the person in question is one of the highest ranking members of our government, the Secretary of State. Apparently the same rules don't apply to conservatives. It's just another example of the double standard we see clearly in the media every day. It goes without saying, but one thing was clear this week, the media certainly swung and they missed. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and send us your media messes to mediamesses at dailysignal.com.